not the right place into your hands the things I cannot do. Find the right place into your hands the things that I've been through. Find the right place into your hands the way that I should go. For I know I always can trust you. Father, I place into your hands my friends and family. Father, I place into your hands the things that trouble me. Father, I place into your hands the person I would be. For I know I always can trust you. Hello, children. Welcome to day 24 of Listening to God's Word from the devotional series Stuck at Home. Before we begin our devotion, let us look to God in prayer. Join your hands, close your eyes, bow your head. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Speak to me and to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's devotion is titled, What is Faith? Children, are you sitting on a chair? If not, then quickly go and sit on a chair. Did you examine if the chair can hold you? No, you probably didn't even think about it. Now lift your legs off the floor. Now that your whole weight is on the chair, you are completely trusting the chair to hold you. You have faith in the chair. Children, let's read what the Bible says about faith. If you have your Bibles with you, please turn your Bible to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 and 6. I want you to read these verses along with me. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 and 6. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Verse 6, without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 and 6. Children, the Bible says without faith it is impossible to please God. Faith in God means to believe without questioning what God says and acting on it. It means to trust God completely. You put your faith in the Lord Jesus when you believed in him as your Lord and Savior. Now that you are his child, God wants you to continue to have faith in him. Children, you need faith to handle the difficult situations in your life. You need faith to say no to sin. And you need faith to trust that God has a plan for your life. In Hebrews chapter 11, the Bible talks about a list of people who were heroes because of their faith in God. They were just like you and me. God talks about them because he wants to encourage us to have faith in him. Children, God is faithful to you. You can have faith in him. That means you can trust God completely. Children, I want you to think about this. What does faith in God mean to you? And I want you to write it down on your notebook what does faith in god mean it means to trust him completely you can talk to god right now join your hands close your eyes bow your head you can begin your prayer by saying dear heavenly father and thank god that he is faithful to you ask god to help you to have faith in him completely and you can end your prayer by saying in jesus name amen shall we pray Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for speaking to us that we need to have faith in you completely for everything in our life. Help us to trust you completely. Thank you, Lord, that you are faithful to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, if you are blessed by this devotion, you can share this video with your friends and relatives so that they will also be blessed and they will also learn to have faith in God. God bless you, children. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.